You know, there are storylines galore around the Boise State football program right now. Uh, one in particular, I don't know how often Boise State has trended towards a sellout on a Black Friday game um, where they have, you know, been hovering around 500, but that is indeed where things are, uh, are headed, it seems like, Jeremiah Dickey, the director of athletics here at Boise State. How encouraging is that? Extremely encouraging. I mean, there's not much more I can I can ask of Bronco Nation, and they continue to step up, and, and I'm grateful. Our team is grateful. Our team is doing a lot of good work behind the scenes, and, you know, it doesn't happen by chance or, or overnight. It's taken some time. I'm still on the six-game, six sellouts, but you look at the growth over the last three years, and, uh, and this is a testament to Bronco Nation buying in. Almost 36,000 tickets out for this game, about 360 shy of a sellout. Okay, that was your softball. I'm not going to lie, Jeremiah. The coaching <laughs> search, uh, it seems yeah. to really start to take off, at least uh, publicly, I would say, these last few days. Where does it stand right now when we heard at least nine Zoom interviews with nine different candidates? Yeah, we're continuing to run out every ground ball. You know, this is an important decision. I understand what our expectations are here, and uh, and and I'm, I'm not going to take anything for granted. I'm going to make the calls, and, and whether that's with agents, athletic directors, commerce commissioners, you name it, I am calling people to find out as much as I possibly can about the candidates that we have and, and uh, really appreciate our process. We're doing our due diligence, and, and I'm not going to be rushed, but I understand there's a timeline, and I put one out there, and, and I think we're still in line with that. When it comes to the candidates, I know that you can't really discuss names or anything like that at this moment in time, but what is the general reaction when the director of Boise State Athletics calls you and says that we're interested in you becoming the head coach at Boise State. Uh, even more importantly, it's amazing how many people have called me to tell me that they're interested in, in Boise State. And I think that's a testament to Bronco Nation and, and what we represent. Um, I don't have to sell it. It sells itself just like it did for me when I got this job. I'm not from Idaho, but, but I very much am, am here and, and love this community, love this institution, love the blue and everything it represents. It's who I am. It's who we are. And uh, uh, and we're not going to apologize for that. We understand what our expectations are, and so do the coaches that have reached out and, and those that, that were on our list and, and just excited uh, for what's next. So we got to talk about it a couple weeks ago, but to reiterate, you know, what are the characteristics, the traits, the qualities that you look for in a guy to come in and lead these guys? There's so much that goes into this. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the offense and defensive side of the ball. You're looking at specifically the X's and O's and how they're going to handle, you know, uh, media, and, and, and we are the face of of this state so when you when you think about that not everyone's dealing with that i come from the state of texas high school football is bigger in some cases than some of the colleges that may represent those communities here we are the face and and so you're looking at for someone that can handle that and pressure is an amazing thing and you know and, and i'm really grateful for for this process and, and in talking through with these candidates what's important to them and, and how we align um I, you know i this is maybe the most important relationship that I have with someone in the department because of what it represents. And so you have to be able to, to work with someone. You have to be able to lock arms with someone and 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 get in that foxhole with them. And, and you know, those those are things that I'm looking for. Right now we're splitting hairs. The resume says what it says. And, and if you're talking to me, you've already risen above everyone else because of what you've done off on and off the field of play. So right now it's, it's more relational and it's just running out our ground balls to make sure that we make the best decision possible when it comes to the interview process like we heard again nine at least nine zoom interviews with nine different candidates and there might be more than nine candidates um you also mentioned that this week you would start to meet with the finalists is it is it fair to say that you have identified the finalists or are getting close to doing so getting close to doing so and and there will be potentially some more zoom um zoom is just easier just in, in this day and age and and with everything going on obviously with the decision being made in season and the opportunity we have today to play for a championship next week um i have to take that into account you know i have other duties um you know and, and basketball seasons and whatnot and so doing the best I can and trying to be as efficient as possible. But we're going to continue to talk and, uh, you know, work close. I wouldn't say we're at our finalists yet um, or a group of finalists, but uh, we're still in line with my, my timeline. Just curious, you uh, also kind of revealed these um, coaching hiring committee that you're, you're traveling with yeah. uh, right now. I know Mike Walsh is one of the members of that committee. Yeah. Uh, why that group and why do you have so much confidence and trust in them? 
Um, one, they're they're a big part of our team, and I can't say enough about Heather, Mike, and and Matthew Ewing. Um, I wanted some representation from campus, especially with Unbridled and our capital campaign. That's important to us. That's our lifeblood. We're not funded like everyone else in our conference. We have to find a way, and so it's important to have uh, someone like that a part of this. Um, and I also look, you know, guys. I have blinders. I'm human. You know, I one of the the reasons that I respect and appreciate Walsh and, and Heather so much um, is because they call me on it. You know, I want to make the best decision possible. I don't know everything. I'm doing the best I can with what I have, and and I trust my teammates, and I want them to be able to speak into this process. Ultimately, it's my decision, and I'm going to take everyone's opinion for what it's worth. But but I I, I can't We're thank them enough for this. Before we let you go, I do want to ask you about the job that Spencer Danielson has done in his short time as interim head coach. Jeremiah, this is my 13th season covering the team. What we witnessed on the field after that game in Logan last week was truly, truly special. One of the more unique uh, responses I've ever seen to any head coach that has been here at Boise State. What do you think of the job that Spencer Danielson has done and um, the fact that with a win today, you guys all but lock up a trip to the Mountain West Conference Championship game. Does that help him at all? Um, I'm not going to get into to the specifics of our process, uh, but I cannot say enough about Spencer. I said it in, in the press conference. It's not a matter of if, it's when. He's a head coach. He's an unbelievable Our human being. He's a great friend. Um, him and I align a lot in terms of what we believe and, and how we represent that and serve. And, and so Spencer is, is elite. And, you know, and, and see, this is an emotional game. You know, and, and when you look at how our team responded, you know, uh, we're all faced with adversities in our life. And to see how they responded and performed uh, and, and, and did it for each other, um, that was that was impressive. And, and it was emotional. and. and and just really cool to be a part of that process. But I love Spencer and uh, and excited uh, for today's game. Jeremiah, we appreciate it. Thank enjoy you. today's game. Yeah, I mean, I know you've been, I know you've been traveling around, been a busy man, but enjoy today's game, Jeremiah. I will. Thank you, guys. Go Broncos. Thank you. Jeremiah Dickey, the director of athletics here at Boise State, always generously sharing some time of his with us on Bronco Roundup game day. Hey.